Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new transmitter from Jumper. It's called the T85G Lite Edition. Now don't mistake this, they released two of them. One is the, we could call it the deluxe version. This is the light version. So let's get started here. So let's just see what it comes with. It comes with a USB, a neck strap, and the transmitter itself. Now the transmitter itself says multi-protocol TX, but don't let that fool you because it can only run FR Sky. So this is basically just an FR Sky transmitter. And it does some other two protocols that I don't know what they are, Sky RTC and, and something else. But overall, it's basically an FR Sky transmitter. Now this thing goes for around 50 bucks, a little bit less than 50 bucks. So it's it's not a hardcore hobby graded transmitter. It does feel toy, toyish in a way. It's very small. The gimbals aren't the greatest gimbals you could find on a transmitter. But you know, what do you expect for 50 bucks at the current moment in time? So first of all, I wouldn't recommend this for the average hardcore flyer. This would be someone, I, what I would see this as, if you wanted to get into this hobby and you didn't have much money or you didn't know you're gonna stay into this hobby if you were gonna like it, this would be a really nice option for an FR Sky transmitter. Now obviously there are other options as well, but this is one of them that you have. Don't expect much range, but I could be totally wrong here. It is running the deviation firmware, and there's a lot of documentation online how to go about setting this up. And uh, overall, it's, it's, it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the backside here. So on the backside, all you get is the battery bay, and it takes four AA batteries, and uh, we can possibly do a little 2S mod where we could tuck in here. If anyone's interested in that, let me know uh, down in the comment section. So we also get two three position switches, as well as little, we can call them little sliders. You get one on each side, you get one here and one here. And um, like I said, it feels very toyish, and it's not for the hardcore flyer, as I believe and as I would recommend. Now, if you're like I said, if you're on a small budget and you wanted something that's FR Sky because everybody's using FR Sky and they do have a lot of lot of receivers lately that have dropped in price and a lot of, you know, pre-built quads also come with the FR Sky receiver. Rarely some well nowadays some do come with Fly Sky, but mostly like 99% of the time it's usually FR Sky receivers on the pre-built quads or micros or whatever. So this would be like a nice little, you know, starter for you. Or you could put tuck this in your car and you had a little, you know, FR Sky uh, micro that you wanted to fly around. This will work just fine. Just don't expect a lot of range. But all again, I could be wrong with the range part. But overall, it's toyish. It's not really hardcore, full-fledged, professional type of gear. Something like the QX7. It won't compare to the QX7. It doesn't really even compare to the Fly Sky because the Fly Sky also has, you know, noticeably better gimbals. But I'm not saying that that it won't work. It'll work just fine. But the gimbals, I don't believe, will last more than six months. So this will be kind of like a temporary solution if you wanted to see uh, if you wanted to get into this hobby or not. And I think that's currently it, guys. There's really nothing else to talk about this. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if you guys found this useful, that'd be super awesome if you could use the links down below. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, please let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.